Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to be looking at claims that the Earth is going to pass through an alignment with the galactic centre or the galactic plane on the 21st of December 2012. Here we are looking in starry night and we can see the Milky Way galaxy in the sky and here we have the Sun. This is the Sun on the 21st of December 2012 uh, as we can see it's uh, this is a view from the Earth center and looking from the Earth out towards the um, Milky Way um, the, the Sun is aligned with the Milky Way obviously you wouldn't see this because this would be a daytime view we're looking towards the Sun but in this case we've got the the daylight hidden so we can light sky okay I'm going to, um, check a few things here first of all we're going to um, turn on the ecliptic which is the path that the Sun apparently takes through the sky obviously the earth rotates around the Sun not the other way around but this is the apparent path that the Sun takes through the sky the other thing that I'm going to do is we're going to find the center of the Milky Way so here we go I've already put this in our search box I can click on any of these we want the the center of the Milky Way so I'm going to hit that and that has labelled the centre of the Milky Way for me. It's also centred it. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on some labels and go down to Galact Galactic Guides and turn on the equator so we can see the galactic equator and as we can see the Milky Way centre is on the galactic equator. The other thing I'm going to do is turn on a uh, reference axis so we can see whether the center is in reference to the um, galactic equator there so we've got this dark blue line through the middle of the Milky Way center now I'm going to show some info on the Milky Way center that's already up here let's have a look Milky Way center and it gives details about the position of the Milky Way center in the sky distance from the observer 25,000 light years and also uh, it's a bit hidden from view here down the bottom here which is just out of your view it tells me that the uh, galactic center is um, about two degrees so what I'm going to do is turn on a field of view uh, where's my field of view down here two degrees field of view okay so we can see just how big that is in the sky I'm going to zoom in on this and that that circle there is two degrees if I zoom right in with starry night this this is uh, some imagery which is um, taken from the uh, I think Chandler survey Chandra survey I should say um, and they've got that two degrees across okay so here is the Sun and there is the Milky Way center as we can see the earth and the Sun are not actually aligned with the Milky Way center or the center of our galaxy the galactic center whatever you want to call it on the 21st of December 2012 it is however aligned with the galactic equator as we can see here that's this green line which is coming down here is the um, galactic equator so on the 21st of December 2012 you can see that the Sun is pretty much on this uh, this green line that the galactic equator now has this happened before has it happened recently well let's have a look what I've done here is I've put in our units of time is set to years I've got it uh, where we're at there okay years and what I'm going to do is um, step back one year at a time so at the moment we're on 2012 I'm going to step back one year so that's uh, now bear in mind that um, with leap years every four years we have an, an extra day because our year is actually 365 days and a quarter so every four years we've got a, a quarter of a day and so that's an extra day so you notice that that's as well as stepping back one year it's actually stepped up to the 22nd so I need to change that back to the 21st so that we're on this on the same day 21st that should be let me try that again okay so 
that's 2011, December 21, 22. So on the 22nd of December 2011, the Sun was still on the galactic equator. Let's go back one year again, and remember we've got quarter of a day difference, so that's why it looks slightly different there. Every four years it's going to step ahead uh, one extra day, so I'll have to adjust that each time. So that's 2010, that's 2009, 2008, 2007. Now that's stepped back to the 23rd, so I'll just change that back to the 22nd. And guess what? We're right back on the galactic equator again. I can keep stepping this back for years and years and years and years and let's go back you can see that because of our extra quarter day that the, the sun is slowly moving along the ecliptic there away from the um, galactic equator so you know I'll go right back to say 1950 okay so if I bring this back to December uh, 22nd 22nd 21st there we go the the solstice is 21st 22nd of December in this case it's the 21st of December and nine well that's a step back to 1949 actually but the point being is that we can see that um, this happens every year the Sun is on the galactic equator around about uh, 21st 22nd of December every year it's nothing unusual and as we can see it's not actually aligning with the Milky Way center that's way out here um, but it is certainly on the equator it's on what you can call the the dark rift this dark area through the the, the center of the, the galaxy nothing unusual happens every year and people like uh, NASA's Dr. David Morrison have been trying to tell people this for for ages and people rubbish him they say oh he works for NASA you know never a straight answer and he works for the government and, and all this nonsense well he's been telling you the truth and any good astronomy software like Starry Night and I'm sure there's other programs you can use we can set the, the date and the year and, and all the rest of it you can check this for yourself and you'll see that the the Sun passes through the galactic equator around about the 21st 22nd of December every year it's nothing unusual and nothing special is going to be happening on the 21st of December 2012 it's just the same thing that happened last year and the year before that and next year and the year after that so I hope that's cleared that up for, for everyone and uh, as usual do check the description area uh, for a link to my Facebook discussion page uh, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex uh, it would be good to see you there thank you